Continuing with the question and answer. Question. Is there not something of a definite association between respiration and the thyroid action, also oxidation, through posture and breathing exercises? Answer. Yes, that is the reason why posture and breathing exercises are given, to bring the whole activity of the body under spiritual influence. However, no teacher will give these exercises without the spiritual activity bringing the spiritual thought into activation as well. Many people can bring those spiritual activities into function and active use almost instantly because of some special influence which has been brought to bear. Question. What are the adrenals? Answer. The adrenals have to do with the blood pressure. The thyroid gland controls all of the others. The thyroid is controlled by the pituitary and that by the pineal. That is why you must become as a little child. In post-mortem examinations, the pineal is found to be atrophied to a large extent. In such cases, we are divorced from the kingdom of heaven. The pineal is the prime center for controlling all of the indoctrines. It is the master, the I am, of the physical body. Do not some of the great masters discuss this subject of improved action or the indoctrines from the standpoint of prana and breathing? That was a question. Answer. Their attitude is that if you are accepting prana, you are accepting the spiritual influences. They come right back to the spiritual influences. That is the greatest activity and activator. They claim that is what activates the thought of youth. Then the pituitary and pineal will come into action immediately. Question. Would you not infer that Jesus had definitely taught his disciples this system of working on the indoctrines? Answer. Yes, through the Christian method, which is love in action. He could say readily that if you would become as a little child, you would enter the kingdom of heaven. Question. Are these material scientists who are discovering the modern miracles of biochemistry inspired by the masters? Answer. Yes, the work is being given out through these people to the race for the benefit of mankind. And now the next chapter is called The Reality. The Hindu says, if God wished to hide, God would choose man to hide in. That is the last place man would look for God. The trouble with the masses of humanity today is that they are trying to become something that is already right within. We are seeking and searching everywhere outside ourselves for God, attending countless lectures, meetings, groups, reading innumerable books, looking to teachers and personalities and leaders, when all the time God is right within. If mankind will let go of the trying and accept that they are, they will soon be perfect, perfectly aware of the reality. Jesus told us so many times that there is no one any different from another, that each is a God being with all the potential attributes and qualifications. We have set Jesus aside for so long, thinking that he was in a different category than ourselves. He is no different. He never claimed to be. He goes about assisting mankind all of the time. He is no mystical character any more than we are mystical characters, and in no way did he ever claim to be able to perform a miracle. They were not miracles. They were merely the fulfillment of natural law. That has been proved today. They were natural occurrences that must and will transpire for anyone if we fulfill the law. Each one of us is capable of mastering every one of the so-called difficulties we are working under, and the moment we let go of them, they cease to exist. That may seem incredible to many, but it is an absolute fact. We bring these things upon ourselves by our own tra transverse thoughts. Supposing those thoughts, those words, never belonged to us, that we had never heard of them, that they had no existence in our vocabulary or our world. We know of four different languages today where there is not a negative word in the language. There is not a word in the past tense or a word in the future tense. All is here and now, accomplished. 
If we could realize and accept that, we would soon rise out of our negative conditions. It is the name that we give a thing and the feeling with which we release it. Negative words, feelings, conditions have absolutely no power except what we individually give to them. The moment we cease feeding our energy into them, they no longer have life, and thus they cease to exist. We have proved conclusively today that because of the word God registered in the Bible, that book has maintained as it has. It has the greatest sale of any book in the world today. Now, if that word will, rem- now, if that word will maintain a book, an inanimate thing, what will it do through our use of it through our own body form? It is not necessary to go around repeating the word God, God. Just send that word forth once with definite, sincere meaning and qualified with what that expression is intended to bring about and you will never have to repeat it. Why? Because you are right in that very soundtrack of vibration that sets up every response to your statement. That is the reason the Bible is maintained and we carry on just with just that one word with its emphasis. Then the important one word with its emphasis, wait a minute. Then the important thing is not to negate it, but hold positively to the fulfillment of our statement. Now certain individuals in India will go around with their hands up in the air saying, Om Mani Padme Om. In a little while, the hand grows there and they can't bring it down. It would be just the same as if we ran around saying, God, God, all the time. We can think the word and know definitely that it is ours. We are that very thing we wish to express, and we don't need to repeat it over and over at all. We simply are that. It has been said that man's greatest mistake is in trying to become God instead of simply being He has been looking for something that is right within himself. We don't try to become. We must simply be it. We are it, and we claim it definitely. If you don't really believe that, you try it sometime for, say, two weeks. I would suggest you say it once and know it, and then go on and be it. It is yours. It is yours to command. Heaven is the everywhere present harmony within the individual, right where you are. You have the free will through your own thought and feeling to make it Hades if you want to, and you don't have much trouble doing it. But if you will spend the time you expend in attempting to bring Hades in creating and bringing heaven right here and now, you will have the manifestation of it. Know God within, always. There is the greatest blessing for humanity. See the other fellow the same as you see yourself the Christ in every face. This is our greatest privilege. Not only that, it is the greatest training for us just to see the Christ in every person we see or know. It takes only a moment to realize that in every company you are in, and you will find it as a marvelous thing. Soon you will come to realize and accept the Christ within each and every one. We are all the same in his likeness always. Referring again to negative words, thoughts, and feelings, we know of 2,500 people today who are associated together who have traveled on every known means of conveyance and over thousands and thousands of miles, and they have never had an accident. Most of these people are right here in America, where the association had its inception. It was started by four people. You are in control of the storms. You are in control of the atmospheric conditions, every one of you. You are in control of every natural element. It doesn't matter what it is. You are the master of it, and it is for you to become master of it. Instead of that, we let it get us down, as we say, and we become subordinate to the condition, our situation, our circumstance. There is not one person in this room who, if he would step forth, could not master every situation that arises simply by knowing that he is the master. Animals are very sensitive to these things. They respond when you give them thoughts of kindness. They even recognize when you send out thoughts of kindness to others. The dog recognizes feelings immediately. We had over 1,100 dogs in Alaska for our mail routes there. 